You had a question. What you what you asked, brother? Bro, bro, right here. What did you ask? I asked what the question was. Uh, what was Jesus' primary mission? What was Jesus' primary mission? Let's get that. Luke one and verse sixty-eight. Bring it out. Cause that's the that's the great mystery, ain't it? That's the mystery of the world. What was the purpose of Jesus? Now it depends on what Jesus you talking about. Cause this is the Jesus we was taught, right? And this man was was brought to us to destroy our people. This man teaches God loves everybody, right? But let's find out what Jesus' purpose was. Get that. The book of Luke, chapter 1, verse 68. Bless be the Lord God of Israel. Of who? Of Israel. So the Bible is talking about the children of Israel. That's what you ever wrote a letter before? You wrote a letter before, right? When you write a letter, you are, you are writing a letter and you're addressing it to somebody. Or you send mail, you send it to somebody, right? The Bible is addressing the children of Israel. These people on this sign, the 12 tribes, Judah, Benjamin, Levi, these were our names before this man changed them. Before we had yokes of iron upon our necks, these were our names. You see that? Read. Blessed be the Lord God of Israel, for he hath visited and redeemed his people. He hath visited and redeemed his people. Why? Because Christ came. Because prior to Christ coming, Guess what? We were under the law of sacrifice. You ever heard the Christians say the laws are done away with? What they're referring to or what they think that the Bible is talking about is all the laws, that we don't have to do all of them. But when the Bible says that we don't have to keep the law, it's pertaining to sacrifice. Because under the old covenant, during the time of Moses, guess what? You would get put to death if you disrespected your parents. You see what I'm saying? It was simple things like that, that the penalty for it was death. When Christ came, we no longer had to die immediately when those things happened. Now we have what's called grace. Right. We have a grace period to get our minds right. Read. And have raised up an horn of salvation for us in the house of his servant David. So it says he has raised up a horn of salvation, meaning he's saving his people. Because it says, blessed be the Lord of God of Israel, for he had visited and redeemed his people and raised up a horn of salvation. When did the subject matter change? When did it begin to talk about the whole world? Read. As he spake by the mouth of his holy prophet. Because all the prophets prophesied about Jesus Christ coming. Read. Which have been since the world began, that we should be saved from our enemy. Hold on. So Christ came that we could be saved from our enemies. Who's our enemies? Because the Bible says enemies. It doesn't say friends. We didn't make that up. The Bible says that the children of Israel are to be redeemed from their enemies. Go to Deuteronomy chapter 28, verse 68. With an S. So that's more than one. So who are our enemies? That's true. That's true. Who are our enemies? Speak up, I can't hear you. Enemies all around you, Who is it though? Because we always say they. All around. Who is it? We gotta we gotta we gotta point them out and put a name on it. Right. Name on them. You mind the people who I don't know. The Bible gonna show you because you're having a hard time. I know you know, but you're afraid to say. Listen, you ain't gotta be scared up here, brother. Read. Do the run of me. Chapter 28, verse 68. Uh -huh. And the Lord shall bring thee into Egypt again. The word Egypt comes from a Greek word called Egyptos, which means bondage. He says, read it again. And the Lord shall bring thee into Egypt again. So Moses is reading out the commandments, the blessings and the curses of disobeying God or following his instruction. And he says, if you disobey God, which the children of Israel did, he said, the Lord is going to send you back into bondage, where we just came out of. Because Egypt was bondage. Right. Slavery. That's what you see here, right? Read. With ships. With what? With ships. How did the black man get to America? How did we get here? How did we get here? Yeah. Oh, 
No, we wasn't. The real Africans is the one who sold us. You're not African. Exactly. You're not African. What am I? That's what we're telling you, brother. Where's your father from? Your father's a so-called African American? So called, brother, so called. Follow me. Come on. Your father's so called African American? Is he born here? Well, yeah. <laughs> Is your dad? Does America label your father? Because that's what they put, that's what we talk, the labels. I'm not telling you that you are, I'm asking. That's why I'm asking you, is he a so-called African-American? That's right. I he might be. I never knew him. You never knew him. Okay, I understand that. According to the Bible, you would be from the tribe of Judah. Right. Because the Bible prophesied that in the last days, Judah would be in this land. That's right. And we have classes that will go into that more detail. But for time's sake, we're going to read on. Read. By the way, up. I spake unto thee, thou shalt see it no more again. God says that you aren't going to see your homeland again. Because as a people, have we all went to our original homeland? Have we? I don't know. I was born here. Have we been home as a nation of people? What you mean? Which you mean right, we have it. And what's our home? What is our home? It was us being born here. What is our home? Where's our homeland? It's supposed to be Where do our people originate from? Africa, right? We're part in Africa. I don't know. <laughs> well, man, you asked you ask, you ask the question, now you don't want the answer no more. Now your homeland is here. It's still everything. <laughs> Great. Damn, your homeland is America. Your plane's Damn, shut up. Uh, no. Hey, what did he say, officer? What did he say? He said uh, he got to go to church. You gotta go to church. Hold on, oh, brother. Oh, hold on. Come back, man. Come back. Come back real quick. Two seconds. Come back, man. Come back. Come back. Come back. You about to go to church? You about to go to church? We're reading to you about Jesus Christ, and you say you gotta go leave here to go get taught lies. This is what you gonna get in church, bro. Quick, go back to cause just stay, let me finish explaining this to you before you leave because you asked the question and now you don't want the answer. Come on, just read. 28, 28, finish. Right. Thou shalt see it no more again. Uh -huh. And there ye shall be sold unto your enemy. Because the Bible says that when we got off those slave ships that we was going to be sold to our enemies, right? right? So remember, in Luke 1 and 68, it says that Christ was sent to redeem us from our enemies. Right. Who were we sold to? Historical fact. Who are we sold to? Yeah. You're right. I agree with you. Who? Oh, name some of them. Name some of them. Look right here. Look right here. Huh? What? We wasn't sold to Cubans. That name was put on people there. We were sold to the Caucasians. That's we were right. sold to the real Africans. We were sold to the to the Arabs, to the Chinese. Wherever we have been captive at, that nation has been the top nation at the time. That's why America is on top. Read, but it said enemies, right? We on for bond men and bond women. It says for slave men and slave women. Now back to Luke one and sixty eight. So I wanted to show you who the enemies were that the Bible was talking about. So I'm going to finish describing what Jesus Christ came for. Because you believe in the New Testament? This is out of the New Testament right here. That's right. This is Luke chapter 1 and verse 68. This is the Holy Bible that we're reading out of. The same Bible you got. So you can't just walk away and say, oh, that don't make no sense because we're reading the Bible. That's right. Read. Luke chapter 1 verse 71. That we should be saved from our enemies uh -huh. and from the hand of all that hate us. You see that from the hand of all that hate us. That's what Christ came for. Get Acts 5, uh, 31. Bring it out. Because Jesus Christ came to deliver you and your people. That's right. Because from the beginning, you are always supposed to be on top. What? There is no equality with God. That's right. Do you read about equality in the Bible? Always. No? So how come the church teaches it? Bring it out. That's right. Why does the church, because you're about to go to church, this is why I'm asking you these questions. Because we got to begin to question these things in our mind 
to get ourselves off of these doctrines that have destroyed us. Because what the Bible says is that we have strongholds on us. Because we've been taught religion. Sorry, Colossians 2 and 8. Listen, bro, this is going to be the best knowledge you're going to get ever on, your, on this earth, bro. I'm telling you, in your life. You have never been taught who you are. And for what the Most High is revealing to you who you are. That's you right. a prophet of the Most High God. But you have been destroyed to believe that you're nothing but a nigga. All praise. Let me read one more thing to you. Read that. Colossians chapter 2 verse 8. Uh -huh. yeah. Beware, lest any man spoil you through philosophy and vain deceit. The Bible says, listen, beware lest any man spoil you through vain philosophy and deceit. That's why I ask, why does the church teach these things? Because if it's not truth according to the Bible, it's vain philosophy and deceit. Right. Christmas, vain philosophy, talking about the birth of Jesus Christ. December 25th was not Jesus' birthday, right. nor did he tell us to celebrate it. That's right. Bring it out. Valentine's Day, Easter Sunday, all of these things that we partake in the Christian church. You were taught Christianity by your slave master. Right. That's why today you see the different denominations. Because guess what? Back on plantation, if Master Johnson was a Baptist, guess what? You were Baptist too, That's brother. Right. Wow. If Master Johnson was a Jehovah's Witness, you was a Jehovah's Witness too. Right. And guess right. what? Your parents passed that on from generation to generation to generation. That's now right. today we proudly wear that title. That's right. The same way you proudly wear your last name. Hey, but we got you got that flyer, right? Brother, you got the flyer, right? Yeah, I got it. Okay, listen, we have a school here in Atlanta. We got videos on YouTube where you can go and watch and learn. Listen, it's free. Right. We're not charging you for nothing, bro. Right. Crefo Dollar gonna charge you a uh, a starter packet, 350, to get his lessons. Maybe, maybe even more. This is for free. All right. So, bro, my man right here, you understand that? You understand everything we've been going over? Okay, so you understand, huh? You understand that you're an Israelite. What tribe are you from? Judah, all praise. What about you, bro? Man, I don't have no tribe. I'm just here. You just here? I'm just here. What that mean? Man, I'm just, I'm just everywhere. So you could just go anywhere and I do anything? Anywhere. I follow up on them. American blacks, West Indian blacks, Haiti, I'm just everywhere. I don't, I, I don't know. I don't know. All I know is I was stole. You are, you all right? You, you sober right now? Yeah, man. I'm okay. Not, I'm, I'm not intoxicated. Never well, intoxicated. the reason I'm asking that because that's a crazy statement to make. No, it's not. It's not that you everywhere. Yeah, I'm debating. Because you can only pertain to one people. Is that so? Bring it up. Huh? Is that so? That is so. How is this so I can only, I can only pertain to one people? And who is the people? Can you come from two different people? Can can you have two is different there fathers? Is that a father? Is that a mother? Is that a father? Ro Romans? Numbers. Oh, Numbers 118, yeah. What you say? Say it again. Is that a mother? Is that a father? I said you can't pertain to two different people. You are you are what your father is. You can't have two different fathers, father. brother. You don't have a father. How did you get here? Man, I'm just saying. All right, you bugged out. <laughs> it makes no sense at all. Do you know your father? Nope, never knew him. Okay, that's what you were saying. My father's y'all. Read that. Numbers chapter 1, verse 18. And they assembled all the congregation together on the first day of the second month. And they declared their pedigree, their lineage, read, after their families, by the house of their father. By their father. So you are what your father was. Now, if you don't know your father, you go based off of the prophecies of the Bible, which would... All right. Wisdom of Solomon 7 and 1. Bring it out. According to you being in this land, you grew up in America. You came here on ships. Your forefathers did, right? So the Bible prophesies that you are from the tribe of Judah. Oh, Read what you got. Wisdom of Solomon, chapter 7, verse 1. I myself also am a mortal man, like unto all, and the offspring of him that was first made of the earth. You see that? So you are a mortal man. You all, we all come from somebody. You don't come from out of nowhere. A man had sex with somebody to have you. A man had sex with somebody, brother. My man right here over here, you've been listening too. Y'all together? Yeah, y'all together? Cause you come to the school. But what's, is this your, your husband, your boyfriend? A friend. A friend, okay, what type of friend? Okay, 
So you, I see you listening, but you kind of, you look like you kind of hesitant, as if like, huh? You don't agree with us. What you don't agree with? Huh? There's something you don't agree with, because if you did agree, you'd be over here like, yeah, yeah, like my man right here. <laughs> what don't you agree with? Because listen, uh, what is it, Isaiah 41, 21, produce your cause? What we are doing, the reason you believe something is because somebody proved something to you. So your ideologies in your mind, you believe what you believe because you believe it to be proof behind it, right? I would hope that you wouldn't be comfortable standing on a lie, right? But if we're, if we're saying something that can't be proved, tell us. Because the Bible tells us to, the Bible tells us to produce our cause. So I'm asking you, what don't you agree with? Because there's something that you disagree with. You don't agree with the what? The discipline, us having to keep laws. You don't agree with the 12 tribes. You don't agree that we went into slavery. You don't agree. What don't you agree with? Okay, read what you got. Isaiah chapter 41, verse 21. Produce your cause, said the Lord. That's right. Bring forth your strong reasons. So that's what we do. And anybody that does have a belief system, we ask them, produce your cause. Because we have been taught lies throughout America. Brother, you understand that right here? You know your nationality? What's your nationality? Tribe of Judah, all praise. You been, that's your son right there? My grandson. Your grandson, all praise. Does he know? You know teaching him. That's why I follow. Uh, Psalm 78, verse 5. It's important that you teach the kids. It's, in, it's important that you allow him to learn also. Right. Because these things happen to us. You have to show your grandson these things because he has to know who his enemies are. Right. Because if he doesn't, guess what? He's going to grow up in this cesspool called America right. with the ideologies of America. Right. And you don't want him to have that. All the destroyed Negroes you see amongst our people today, caught up in the Christian churches, right. it's because they agree with well, Babylon the Great. They have well, been indoctrinated. Well, I right. disagree with the that. Song, I chapter disagree. 78, verse 5. I disagree. Listen, you need to get the, get I that disagree. damn demon off you and I get disagree. sober. Let me speak. Wait. No. For he established a testimony in Jacob. And appointed a law in Israel. You see that? The Bible is talking about Israel. Read. Which he commanded our fathers uh -huh. that they should it's make okay. them known to their Asia. children. You see that? The Bible says that it's important to make these law, statutes, and commandments known to your children. Right. Because America's not going to teach them to follow God. Right. This, you think this place follows God? Does this place follow God, brother? Yes. Bring it uh, out. Yes. But hold on. There's Bibles all over the place. So, when you go to court, you got to swear on the Bible. So, so what are they doing with so, the Bible? So what? Is that, uh, Turn up for what? Turn down for what? What if you have We got oh, London, uh, we got money in the fucking bank in jail too. It's a goddamn. Because you got to ask yourself, why is the white man dictating the religion of the earth right now? Bring it up. Bring it up. Right. All, that's a good point. All this abortion rally stuff you see going on, they are, they, what they have begun to say is that they're pro-choice. Right. Not pro-abortion, but they're pro-choice. Bring it out! Bring it out. Pro, exactly. pro whoremongers. That's right! That's what it is. It's okay to jump from rod to rod to rod. That's right. It's okay to jump from woman to woman to woman to woman. Bring it out! Just kill the baby, that's all. Bring it out! Bring it out! It'll be all right. You're trying to take away our choice to kill babies. Bring it out. We, and you see our people in the midst of these things, we always want to go and join the white woman, the white man, and they problems. That's right. That's not our, the Bible tells us we don't deal with that stuff. Right. So why are we following after the other nations? Right. Read what you got. Is that it? Psalms chapter 50, verse 16. But unto the wicked, God said, what has thou to do? To declare my statue. God says unto the wicked. The Bible calls the nation of Esau the wicked. They are the beginning and ending of wicked. That's the so-called Caucasian race today. Right. It says, what have you to declare my statutes? What have you done? 
Why? Wait, that's why we have all the religions that we just went over. Why is there so many different doctrines in one Bible? Because it's confusion. It's co they confuse you with religion. They confuse you with nationality. They confuse you with colors. You see all the different crafty councils against our people? If you ain't red, you gotta be blue. And that's all to destroy you and your people. Bring it on! And our people, we play off of that stuff. Now you got gangbangers in the hood that will die because of a flag that I grew up wearing versus a flag that you grew up wearing. But hold on, we both in a damn ghetto. The white man walked through the streets freely. Right. But we fighting over colors. And you know what they do? They say, look at them niggas, Fred. Look at them, Fred. Look at them kill each other. And they lock us up. They make money off the prison system. They win winning right now. You see that? Their forefathers, they set them up nicely. But guess what? Exactly, just like the abortion clinic thing. Read. On, on that thou should just take my covenant in thy mouth? The Bible said, don't even take my covenant in your mouth. Right. Right. The covenant was made with the children of Israel. That's Why right. do you have the so-called white man calling himself a Jew? That's right. Bring it out. I don't know if you ever seen It's a little meme on social media. It says the Jews left Egypt black, but they came back white. Because right. how the hell was we black before, but now the Jews is white? Bring when it out. Have seen a black person turn uh, white like that? Or a nation of people turn white like that? The Caucasian race has always been that pigment. Right. They're the only race who came out red. They're the red ones. Right. Because they have no melanin in their skin. 